Welcome to the Wolf Den. This is an official unboxing. Probably saying to yourself, what's Dave up to now? But what is going to be making this icy tech special? Divide. Why would you want one of these? Well, I'm going to show you why. What do we got? What do we got? I can't see it in this dirty water. The giant trout. What was that, my third cast? Yeah. Third cast! Puppet cork! Burning down the house. <laughs> and I'm gonna put them in my new cooler. I'm gonna show you all about the new cooler here in a minute. We gotta catch some fish first. All right. Bob got himself a trout. <laughs> I love <laughs> Let me show everybody now that we've got a you've caught a fish. Let me show everybody what I'm doing here with this brand new Icy Tech 120 divided cooler that I already unboxed for you. Here's the deal. Fish on one side, shrimp on the other. And if you can see that, I got my oxygen going in there and what the whole idea here was cold on this side and keeping the water cool because it's so damn hot in Florida at a perfect right now it's probably what a 72 72 degrees okay now the box is cold on this side it's not cold on this side but it's just enough and we got a fish box live well and then i'll show you over here this is the whole idea folks there's my oxygen bottle right here tucked nicely under the leaning post on this is called a sea sucker uh suction cup that i got on a bracket and then this big rubber band called a quick fist that holds this right here see from going nowhere and then I buy a brand new cooler and I drill a 3 8 hole right through the real thick part here and then I got little hold downs because this is the new version of this cooler my other 200 doesn't have the hold downs I got a separate drain just for the live well side and then of course go ahead and lift it up again Bob then over here down in here there's another drain just for the fish box side so is Dave thinking for cool the cool stuff and then Bob's gonna go down he's gonna dip a nice sprightly shrimp ooh look at that big old shrimp ooh Bob that's a big one that there's a that there's a mogan that's a mogan shrimp that's a river cricket you can't catch them so and Bob's going to catch him another tear out. So it all fits completely nicely in here. And at the same time, folks, we got a seat. We got a nice seat right here. So that's the whole objective is to have a seat, have a live well all in one. Because changing the water out in a live well right now, as Bob can attest, Yesterday, Bob went fishing in his Boston Whaler, and he's got a really nice live well. What do you got? One of those Aqua Lifes or something? Aqua, Aqua World 22 gallon oval. Yeah, 22 gallon oval Aqua World. And that's one of those really super nice live wells that I'm going to buy because it keeps pogies good, don't it? You got another one, Bob? No. Oh. Mystery. So, that keeps pogies good, the Aqua World? 
It does. Yeah, because I'm going to buy one of those for the summertime for pogies and mullet and stuff like that. So, um, uh, oops, go ahead, Bobby. So, uh, that's the whole story as far as Dave's live well and my new cooler pur purchase. And it fits nicely right there, makes a nice seat. So, um, we're fishing an area that we have now, I have now deemed. Oh, Bob's got, oh, you got another one? No, I had a little bite, probably another mangrove snapper. Yeah, we got some mangroves in here. We're fishing this place that I'm calling now, officially, Dock to Nowhere, because it goes nowhere. All it is now is a pelican perch. Right? Pelicans? All right. So that's the story. We got double header. They're not big. We'll have to measure them. I know mine's short. Bob's might be legal. So we're finding them. Got another one on. Oh, nice trout. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, thank you. That's chubby. That's chubby. I think he's gonna make 15, no problem. See, that's the deal. There's mangrove snappers up there, but there's trout up there. And the mangrove snappers will eat your bait before the trout do. So, for every trout you catch, you use, what? Three shrimp? About three shrimp. <laughs> for every trout. And when you got only, you know, six, seven dozen shrimp, you'd like to have them all for trout, redfish, flounder, sheep's head, and black drum. Not necessarily mangrove snappers, which we have no mangroves around here to start off with. You know what the old saying is, if you can't catch a big redfish, catch any redfish. <laughs> Bob got a nice trout. What was that, the cast exactly after the redfish? Yeah. Redfish, then trout. Nice fish. Look, he's got a screwed up gill. That's a keeper. Okay, I think Bob's got another tear out. Looks like a nice one. Oh my god, yes. Oh yeah. It's so funny because where we're sitting, it's three feet of water. And there is a hole back there by this dock. I'll show it to you. There's a hole back there by this dock where the, all the mangrove snappers are. The redfish that Bob caught. A couple other trout that Bob caught. And now this trout. Yep, he's a 19 incher. That's what we call a sweetheart, folks. You don't have to measure them because you can tell how big they are by the girth in, in which you grab them. Hey, folks, guess what? You might be able to tell where we're at. And guess what Bob nails? Burning down the house, 16 incher. It's kind of nasty out here. But uh, we're giving it a shot anyhow out here in the wide open. Wide open spaces. I always say Bob's dangerous. I always say Bob's dangerous and here's the reason why. He has big old fat wang on a float rig and a lab shrimp. <laughs> Look at the size of this plane. That's a beauty. Well, I was telling Bob earlier, we need to catch a drum or a keeper redfish. I caught a drum and Bob says this isn't really a drum. This is more like a tambourine. <laughs> that comes from a music teacher. Oh yeah. If you can't catch them, uh, you know, big, just catch them, right? Okay. What is this here? Just don't be a Jack Raval. Don't be a catfish. It's big, whatever it is. God, what is it? It's big. Yep, it's a Jack. Now, if it was only a trout that fought that hard. Okay, folks, I'm gonna show you. You know you got money. When your boat has a whole lot of boats. Look at, look 
at this. And he's got a sail matching sailboat back over here. And a and a hundred percent life raft. And look at this. Look at this. He's got a big giant boat over on that side. Now they got the sailboat here. Alrighty, we're back. And uh, Bob's taking his stuff up to his truck. And we ended up with seven trout and a whiting. Seven keepers. And if we caught if all the ones that we threw back, which was a lot, were keepers at 15 inches, this box would have been full. Well, we would have had our 12 easily. Six per person. Because we threw back a ton of small trout. So that wasn't a bad day. And guess what? My system, I think, works because of the fact we only had like maybe five dead shrimp out of six or seven dozen. So that really worked out. So I'm happy with the system and I'm happy that Bob was with me to give it a try. This Bob's a real regular of mine and boy, we, we go out, we never not have fun and we never not catch fish. So now I'm gonna make the donuts and get cleaning them. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.